All right. Well, hello and welcome. Welcome and hello. Today is Thursday, which means that it is vlog day. Welcome to 2015, my friends and fellow vapors. Nope, can't say that. That's Demetrius's line. My friends and... Ah, I'm stealing it. My friends and fellow vapors, welcome to 2015. Hoping, hoping 2015 is going to be just a, just a stellar year. As we move into 2015... Uh, I, I want to say something profound, but I, I don't have anything. Uh, I don't have anything off the top of my head. In fact, I don't even have any vlog notes right now. I've gotten to a pattern where I know what I'm going to talk about and when that's going to happen. So, welcome to the vlog. For those of you new to the channel, every Thursday I do upload a very long video. It's kind of a show style video where uh, where I vlog and I talk about myself. I talk about vaping. I do some some shout outs, some viewer mail. We talk about beer. We talk. About about vapor we talk about a lot of stuff and of course this vlog is going to be very similar to the other vlogs in that I'm going to start off with some beer I got uh, I got some beer can you see this craziness happening right here Santa brought me some beer this is a uh, Calabaza Boreal northward this is Anchorage Brewing Company this is Anchorage Brewing collaboration ale with Jolly Pumpkin Artisan Ales um, I'm going to go over to Beer Advocate Advocate right now just to see uh, just to see what they have to say. Calabaza Boreal. Calabaza. No, not Blanca. There's a. I didn't. I had never heard of this of this beer before. Uh. Calabaza Boreal. Yes, this is from Jolly Pumpkin Artisan Ales. It's a collaboration with Anchorage Brewing Company. I'm a big, uh, for those of you again who are new to the channel, I'm kind of a big uh, craft beer guy. I just, I just enjoy it. I just love it. I just love drinking it. I love all the different flavors and complexities that you get out of it. And, and a lot of viewers of this vlog are, are, are very much the same way. Uh, it's it's interesting now I get just amount um, uh, as big amount of like beer related emails as vape related emails like for every which is a good RDA email I get I get hey have you tried this beer or what's a good beer for this or I want to get my dad into craft beer what should I get for him stuff like that um, this is a farmhouse ale so it's a saison type of uh, of beer I'm terrified right now because this has a cork and corks just freak me out like they're going to explode in my face. I'm going to get my trash can here. Um, trash can still rocking the uh, still rocking the local vape stickers. Get me a sticker. I might just put it on my trash can. What else is in there? Anyway, so God, I'm terrified. I don't want this to explode. I hate corks. God, I hate corks. This is going to pop hard. Okay. Ooh, it smells a lot. Uh, it smells very duchessy, doesn't it? I guess uh, the Duchess was the first like uh, sour or saison type of beer that I had tried. And... Uh, I guess you know most of the other ones that I taste after that are going to get compared to the Duchess because that's just that was my first one and that's what I'm familiar with. Of course, pouring it right over my keyboard, which is always a fantastic idea. It's pretty light. I'm going to try to get a head on there to uh, to impress Ruby Roo as I always try to do. She always reminds me that I need to drink through the head like a man. But look at that; it's like a nice goldeny color uh drinking this out of sort of a traditional tulip style glass but that just looks uh that just looks beautiful it's it's hazy it's good it's good stuff so i'm gonna dig in this is the anchorage brewing company jolly pumpkin artisan ales calabaza boreal uh northward saison farmhouse ale that is it you couldn't order that at a uh at a bar if you're like do you have the uh the Jolly Pumpkin Saison, the Boreal, the Farmhouse Ale. That's, I mean, that's not something you say. It's got a very tart... Wow. Whoa. 
Gargamel. Wow. Uh, it's like grapefruit peels, like grapefruit citrus. You know how when you like peel a grapefruit, like the spray that comes out of it? Imagine spraying all that spray into like a cup and then drinking it. That's what this tastes like. It is a very astringent, sour, sour beer. Really good. Oh my gosh. That is crazy. That is crazy. It's making me like warm. Like I feel warm right now in my head. Like I feel blood like rushing to my head. Ooh, that is crazy. That, that is a crazy beer. That is crazy. I'm going to revisit that in a second. Uh, after I get to some shout outs, the first shout out that I want to do that I forgot to do is this. Can you see this? Let me look down at my screen. No, this is not a mod, although it could it could be a mod. It's not a mod, but we'll get back to this in a second. Oh, also there's a patch. There's a wicked cool patch with like a like a phoenix dragon on it. Anyway, here here's the shout out. This is the this is this is the first shout out of the night. Hey Nick. <clears throat> Hope the package got to you okay. This is a casing from a 30 millimeter round that was fired from an Apache helicopter in a training event. This is a 30 millimeter round casing <laughs> from an Apache helicopter that was fired during a training event. When the bird comes back from flying, there are very rarely any empty rounds left in the gun. Uh, we call it a gun, but it's actually more like a cannon. Just a thank you for all you do for the vaping community. You've always given great advice and answered our questions. Best of luck to you. Oh, I also threw in a patch for you, the Griffin. We are part of the 12 cab, 12 points of fire. 12 CAB, 12 points of fire, Tony. Tony, thank you so much. This is one of the coolest things I've ever owned. Uh, I've never been like a really collecty guy like collecting knickknacks and things like this um i'm i'm going to put this somewhere in my house can i put it here is that dumb will it stay there it's not going to stay there maybe i'll just put it on stewart's head right now no i want to put it i want to i want to put this somewhere cool and uh it's it's very cool tony thank you thank you so much 30 millimeter round. This was fired from an Apache helicopter. Can you imagine how much damage this would do? He says it's a gun, but it's more like a cannon. So shout out to you, Tony. Uh, the Griffin patch, super, super cool. We are part of the 12 CAB, 12 points of fire. Shout out to you, Tony, and your 12 points of fire team. I'm just going to put this note back in the casing so I don't uh, so I don't forget who you are so uh, someday that'll uh, that'll pop up and appear in a video where should I put this patch should I put this patch on my clutch hat would that be dumb it's like velcro -y. maybe it'll stay no that's not gonna work it's not gonna happen Tony but uh, still still very cool uh, I do have some more shout outs and as you can guys imagine, uh, I do get a lot of shout out requests. There's just a lot of people who, who contact me and want shout outs for themselves or for their vapor groups or for their local groups or for their Facebook groups and things like that. The amount of shout out I get, a uh, shout out requests I get is uh, very, very overwhelming. Tony, yes, Tony. Thank you for that. Um, I'm just gonna pick a random one here. We're going to go back to, oh, there's some old ones. September 23rd. Uh, September 9th. Oh, okay. So I have one. Oh, gosh. Some of these are old. Some of these shout out requests are just, uh, they are just old. How about this one from uh, October 31st? Oh, this is very long. Uh, I just want to tell you about this awesome guy. This comes to me uh, via a guy named Michael. His name is Vaping with Granger. I follow him on Facebook. I sent him a message asking about why my mod was getting hot and was starting to burn my hand. He told me my mod was shorting out. <clears throat> he asked me for my address so he could send me something that may help. A few days later, I received a Ragnarok mod. 
with a Vulcan heat sink and a drip tip. I just wanted to thank him and was able to find his phone number because he was uh, listed in the book. Uh, I got his wife talking with her. I found out that he was in the hospital because his health was beginning to fail. I found out he was a disabled vet who because... I found out he was in... Okay. I found out he is a disabled vet who because of health rarely leaves his home. His wife said she knew who I was because he had talked to her about me. She said he looks at my Facebook page and saw that I have kids and was worried that my mods were going to blow up and my kids could get hurt. He had just did a review for Vapor Lifestyle and sent me the items. I have had very little money and I could not spare the money for another mod. Uh, I cannot believe he did this for me. He does not even know me. When I finally got a hold of him a few days later, I asked him how I could pay him back. Uh, and all he said was to pay it forward. I know he watches your videos. I know he would love a shout out. His Facebook page, Vaping with Granger. Ooh, sorry. Please do not mention me. Put, if you don't want to be mentioned, put it at the beginning before I start reading. <laughs> sorry. Sorry about that. Uh, but yes, uh, Vaping with Granger, that is a, that's a great thing to do. Um, I... Uh, I believe in uh, I do believe in paying it forward. Um, most recently, and uh, over Thanksgiving, I gave away just a whole mess of stuff, and it's one of those things where y y y you make a connection with something, someone, whether you believe it or not. Um, you just I'm not a big believer in like uh, you know karma or vibes or anything like that. But when you meet certain people, you kind of instantly have this like certain connection. And there's some people that email me and they say, you know, hey, uh, you know, I blah 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 this that and the other. Um, I was wondering maybe if you had a mod or something like that. And I and I go, wow, you know what? You seem really genuine. I I would like to send you a mod. And I I do that kind of stuff away from public. Like I, it's a it's a private sort of giveaway, as you were. And so I think vaping with Granger absolutely uh, did the right thing. I you know I mean not did the right thing. I'm just gonna dig myself in a hole. He did a good, did a good good, good good thing. Um, vaping with Granger. Consider yourself shouted out uh, at the anonymous request of uh, <laughs> of somebody else. Let's get to something a little bit more recent. Oh, Dave! Uh, Dave was uh, Dave was one of the winners of the Grimm's Big Give. He says, "Hey Nick, I just wanted to send you a few pics that my niece sent me. She was so grateful the package that you sent her. Uh, she's going through a YouTube channel, and if you could give her a shout out sometime, I think her head might explode with happy. That's one thing I do want to accomplish on my YouTube channel. It's I want to make people's heads explode." with happy her name is Cynthia the first thing she did when she got the package was to lay everything out and take pictures I told her I wanted a picture um, Cynthia ended up winning uh, Inakin Gladius tank and Inakin click and I threw in a bottle of Namber juice as well as a Namber juice uh, sticker and uh, one of the last Grim Army stickers as well went to her Cynthia uh, Dave I'm glad uh, Cynthia is enjoying the products hopefully she's continuing to enjoy the products hopefully she's expanding out beyond those products hope maybe she's already paid those 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 devices forward but yes thank you so much dave uh dave for contacting me one last shout out let's pick something more recent what's the most recent one i have uh cory <laughs> let's do this cory last shout out of the night my name is cory and i was writing to ask you for a shout out to my girlfriend Paige. We've been dating for about two years now, and she has been a very heavy smoker the whole time. She recently decided to better herself uh, and make the switch to vaping. She has a two-year-old son, which is now my stepson and will soon be adopted. Uh, that adopted son that we both have made this choice for. Uh, we watch her videos every night before we go to sleep, and I know a shout-out would mean a lot to her and help her continue on this great path that she is going down absolutely Corey. shout out to you shout out to your girlfriend page shout out to your little to your son uh, i think that's fantastic um when people you know make that decision when when they realize wow i am a heavy smoker i should probably not be smoking anymore vaping i i do believe is the single greatest uh the single greatest 
a thing, a tool for smokers to use to get away from uh, to get away from traditional tobacco products. So absolutely, Corey, shout out to you. Shout out to your girlfriend page. Shout out to your boy. Uh, thank you for watching my videos. I really appreciate it. And yes, Paige, keep going down the vaping road. It really only gets better as uh, as time goes on. So yes, that concludes that concludes the shout out portion of this vlog. I'm going to sit here, I'm going to enjoy some beer, but right now we're gonna get into a couple first impressions. All right, what's first on the first impressions? Uh, what's first on the first impressions? Uh, let's do this, because it's all set up right now. So there was a, a company that contacted me not too long ago called Sick Clouds. Sick clouds, bro. Bro. Sick clouds. Uh, they make a box mod, and I posted a picture of it on Instagram, but it's a uh, it's a box mod, and it uses that same box that the Duke uses, that the Hexone uses. It's this. It's this It's this box. It's that, it's that box. Uh, it's got a horn-style switch on it. The difference is, oh, you're not going to be able to see it with the yellow batteries. It has this uh, sort of plexiglass lid that sits on here it just snaps on and it's very very solid there's a little bit of up and down there's a little bit of side to side but what you can do is adjust it so that it sits on there as flat as you want it to um, when I first got it uh, my batteries were sticking out just above the lip right there and so when I was sitting this on I had this like intense wobbling seesaw motion on there and then I contacted the guy from sick clouds and he's like oh no just screw out the the Phillips or the uh, you know the Allen screws in there just like a half a turn each and that'll give you just the right amount of distance to get that lid to sit on there as you can see or maybe not see there's a little gap all the way around um, which I don't even feel I don't even really notice it um, I haven't had anything leak down in there yet, but I'm assuming that if this atomizer leaked, it would just go straight down in there. Huh, so that's something I kind of never thought about. I don't know, it'll be interesting. Uh, I kind of just got this and I've been putting it through its paces. Obviously, I'm gonna report back. Um, this is, you know what, let me just pull up the Sick Clouds website because I wanna get some more specifications on this anyway. Does Google Chrome suck on a MacBook Pro or is it just me? Can never open a new tab. Sick Clouds Bro, that's the website they should have bought. Uh, click over here on the box mods. Custom Sick Cloud Box Mods. Uh, let's get some specifications here. I'll be interested to know. Uh, dual 18650, available in parallel or serial wiring. Uh, 12 gauge and 14 gauge solid core wiring. 3D printed battery tray, magnetic cover, Fat Daddy Vape spring loaded 510 connector. I'll be interested to see how many amps this switch can hold up to because I haven't been running anything super super low on it this is a 0 0.3 ohm dual coil on the Vulcan which we're gonna talk about in a second it's got that new top cap on there for cloud chasing bro 0 0.3 ohms dual MXJO 18650 batteries in here holy crap this juice is pairing amazing Amazing with this beer. I stopped by uh, Vape Aura and uh, met the guys there, all super cool guys. Handed me off a bottle of this KMK juice. Uh, can't find a description for it anywhere in the universe, but it's like fruity. Sometimes it tastes like mango, sometimes it tastes like bubblegum. Just really bizarre juice. It's nice and sweet, and I've been enjoying it. Uh, it's it's great. This mod hits uh, really well, very, very consistently throughout uh, sort of the battery life, I guess. It's not regulated per se, but I believe it has a MOSFET uh, switch in there. So it could be very, very highly rated. The internals are all 
it's super clean on the inside. These are just my two paired batteries with the evil crosses on them so I can keep them together. I like the battery. I like the switch. It's very slightly clicky, but it fires every single time. <coughs> okay. Let's, let's pump the brakes here a little bit, Grim. If I exhale through my nose, it tastes like bubble gum. So moving on from this mod, which they did print uh, the Grim Army on there. Do, 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 do. I don't know why I did the Transformers theme. Uh, this is the Vulcan, and this is my old Vulcan atomizer, but Vapor Lifestyle sent over the cloud chasing cap. And uh, you know what? Let's just uh, let's be that guy. Let's zoom in a little bit here so you can see, so you can appreciate the full holes of this oh not too far yeah look at that look at those big airflow holes let me take this cap off so you can kind of see all the way through do you see those big airflow holes the old Vulcan cap had uh, just one simple little square airflow hole in the V and this has big big airflow holes non adjustable airflow holes but they are big and they are swooshy. The great thing is they're not too big. I don't feel like they're too big. They're not like that Eric atomizer. They're not like the Doge fully open. They're not too big. They're not dark horse big. They are nice and swooshy and you can get just a huge, huge hit off of it. Huge airflow. Working great. Like I said, this is just a simple uh, dual coil uh, 24 gauge. I think I actually used a G plat on this, but it works great. And like I said, the airflow is just uh, it's just really nice. This is an authentic chuff enough drip top on there, which uh, I might be biased towards uh, Mr. Chuffalufagus or Chuffalungus or whatever his name is. I call him Chuff, but uh, he makes some good caps and it sits on there. If I wasn't dropping it, I'll order the place. Sits on there, really nice, snaps in. It's great, great, really been enjoying it, really been enjoying it. Absolutely, good stuff. So, uh, moving forward, you know, I don't generally talk about juice a whole lot. Um, but I am going to talk about this one juice that I got really quickly. Um, I was able to uh, spend some time with uh, Mr. my good buddy, Mr. CJ the Vaping Monkey at his store, Vapor Venue. Uh, Roy from Vape Life and I can't believe I forgot your name. <laughs> the girl. Gir female Vape Life. What is your name? I'm going to have to look on Instagram because I suck as a human being. Uh, there you are. Sheffy Juice, Justine, Justine, Justine and Roy from Vape Life. Uh, they're they're just fantastic people, and I had met them before. Um, last time I saw them was at ECC, and they happened to come by CJ's shop, and we got a great oh, we got a great picture. Good people, good people. I just love the Vape Life crew. Uh, so huge shout out to them. I am big fans of theirs. Um, they are super cool people to hang out with, and. They happened to give me some of their Vape Life juice, which I had been dying to try. Dying to try. And I've uh, been vaping the Goldenrod, which is delish. I uh, recently opened the Wisteria, which is a mango pomegranate juice. Uh, very, very good. It's delicious. Holy crap, it's delicious. currently rocking this on the brass monkey which uh yeah i think the brass monkey is going to get a full video as well as the uh the atomizer that comes with the brass monkey that 26 650 sized atomizer um flavor is nice it's mangoey it's it's pomegranate-y it almost tasted at first i thought there was a little bit of menthol but it's like refreshing without the menthol anyway shout out to roy shout out to uh the girl whose name i just forgot i can't believe i just justine roy and justine 
from Vape Life. You guys rock ass, and uh, I'm a big fan of your liquids. And while I was at Vapor Venue, I happened to uh, happened to pick up an orchid right there. Got an orchid, and I didn't know how to build it or what to do with it, but I wanted to use it right away. So uh, I, I, I roped Roy into building it for me. I've since re-wicked it, but Roy did a great build on here. It's a 0 0.2 ohm dual coil, uh, Japanese organic cotton wick. Um, I have some cereal killer juice in there, which I'm not ugh, crazy about. It's okay. I don't understand the appeal of the cereal juice. Uh, for a while it was, uh, well, when I first started, everyone vaped menthols. Um, and custard, I guess, got really big. Uh, now it seems like we're starting off 2015 with a love of cereal flavored juices. There's the looper, there's the cereal killer, which is what I have. There's another one, Trix, that I just saw. Trix with a Z, because Zs in the vape world are cool, evidently. I don't get it. Uh, it's interesting. It's not something I could vape all day. I've just been doing these uh, sort of lung hits on the orchid. I left all the airflow all the way open, and it's still a tight draw. It's a very, very tight draw. It would be like trying to lung on like a Cardo tank or like an Aspire Nautilus or something like that. It's a very tight draw. This is 90% VG juice, and it's, I mean, I've been going through tanks like crazy, just tanks, tanks, tanks like crazy and it wicks, it just keeps wicking. Um, I was worried about filling it up for the first time, um, but what I do is I just pull off my drip tip, I unscrew one of these screws, and then I just take the whole top off, I pour my juice in there, I screw the whole top back on, and I replace one of the screws. And what that does is when you take off one of those screws, it lets out the vacuum of air, so that when you unscrew the top, it's not pulling juice up to your coils. And then you screw this back down and you re-put the screw in and it hasn't been gurgly or flooded uh, at all. And I've been through, like I've refilled this tank at least four, five, six times and it's been, uh, it's been holding its own. It's been wicking, which is just the craziest thing. With a 95, 90%? I think it's 95% VG. Uh, yeah, 90% VG. 90% VG only comes in 4 milligram. Uh, I don't know why it has a 9 on there. 4% nicotine, but it says serial killa. Oh, it's not serial killer. I was mistaken. It's serial killa. K I L L A. That's how you say killa, right? Don't know why there's a big nine on there. Um, South Vapes, Southern Vapes, Southern Vapes. I can't read it. I can't read your silly handwriting on there. Orchid has been quite, quite fantastic. I am going to do a full video for the Orchid as we get closer into 2015. But uh, so far, ah. Uh, been really enjoying it. The chamber is so small in there, and I believe this is the Orchid 1.5 because it has the two-part chimney. Evidently, the original Orchids only had a single chimney piece, but this one comes apart. It has the ring, and then it has the chimney that you screw down onto it. It's a two-part chimney, which makes uh, makes it much easier for wicking, uh, in my opinion. I've re-wicked this once now, and it's been it's been friggin' fantastic. I still have the coils on there that Roy built them. A little sentimentally attached to them because we went out to Korean barbecue and it was really, really fun and I, I like them a lot. So I'm sentimentally attached to it. The cereal killa juice almost pairs really well with this beer as well. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So the last thing on the first impressions before we get uh, before we get too carried away with the first impressions here is uh, this mod. So this this is a mech mod. Okay, let me get the package out here. Um, yes, USA made mods. Zombie fabricate. This is the infected, right? This is called the infected mod. It comes in this uh, pouch, right? 
and it comes with a uh, certificate of authenticity. Zombie, I have a zombie hunting permit now. Look at that, the infected New Orleans, Louisiana, 112814, zombie ID 0707, stainless steel with brass, uh, zombie authentic authenticated infected mech mod. Um, now when I first got this mod, pardon me, when I first got this, I grabbed it out of that little plastic and I went, oh, 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 why? Why did they do this? It feels like the Opus D. It just feels like a chalkboard and I didn't want to hold it and I didn't like holding it, but I forced myself to use it. Um, the threads on here are fantastic. And as I used it more and more and more, it got nicer just started feeling a little bit softer overall. And now it doesn't really have that chalkboardy feel anymore. It has kind of like a media blasted feel to it. It's a very soft metal. There's the switch, there's no locking ring to speak of, but the switch is, is recessed in there. That's your contact that comes up. There is a hole in here for venting. All the threads are glidey and nice. I mean, just glidey and nice. When you do it, you can't even see a seam. Like if this was the same color, you wouldn't even see a seam there. That's I mean, look at that. Top cap goes same goes for the top cap. The threads are just nice, glidey. They just oh, they're so silent and glidey. I just like that. I like the way this mod looks. I like the subtle color differences in the brass end caps, and I like that there's uh, some sort of battery venting that's apparent and, and, and resolutely visible. I don't necessarily like looking at a big hole in the side of my mod, but it's also good to know that there are, you know, venting possibilities so that when I put my battery in there, not only do I have a somewhat sense of security knowing that there's a, uh, there's the ability to vent, but I also like seeing it. Like I go, oh, that's yellow. That's my MXJO battery that's in there right now. Or if it was, uh, you know, green, I go, oh, that's the Sony battery that's in there right now. Or if it's, uh, you know, purple, I go, oh, that's my E-Fest battery that's in there right now. One thing I wanted to try was the Tugboat version 2 on here. And I don't have this wicked up or anything. Do I? Nope, just coils. But I want to see if I can retain that sort of seamless look with the tugboat version too, because if it can, oh, oh, and there's even room to spare. The tugboat version two is an atomizer that I always keep out now just to test on mods because it has that ridiculously long center pin. Oh yeah, look at that. And it, it just sits on there seamlessly and do the coils glow? Boom, coils glow, the coils glow. Oh, those are really uh, super uneven coils. I'm going to have to fiddle with those if I'm to re-wick this. But yeah, it sits on there flush. There's no gap. There's no gap. I'm kind of digging this mech mod. I mean, I know it's another freaking mech mod, and watching a video of a mech mod is honestly one of the most boring things on Earth. I don't know what I can do to make mech mod videos more interesting. But as it stands, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight mech mods all awaiting review. There's this one from uh, Atmistique called the Atermon mod that has a, a button up here that works, I mean, just fantastically. I've been discovering some things about this particular mod. I'm going to go ahead and charge these batteries while I'm at it. Um, I also do want to give a shout out uh, real quick as we wind down these first impressions to uh, Select Vape at select vape on instagram select vape that's select vape on instagram i'll put a link in the description but uh they sent me over a little bit of a care package and it was it kind of it arrived the day before christmas and so i felt like it was christmassy but uh they have some crazy packages that you can buy like multiple things like batteries a mod an atomizer and juice like it's all in a package and they sent me over some of these great mxjo 18650 batteries i've been using these like crazy just like crazy i paired a couple of them up for some mods and the rest of them i've been using in mech mods i'm going to charge this one too while i'm at it 
Um, so yeah, in my ah orchid down. The orchid's down. Oh, the orchid's down. In my next video, in my next vlog video, we're gonna do a first impressions of uh, of this Atermon mod. We're gonna do a first impressions of that, and I'm gonna tell you that it's very easy to dent. You see this? Oh, very wow. Oh. You see that? I dented the top of this MXJO battery. That's what it's supposed to look like, all nice and flat. And then this one is clearly, clearly dented on top. And it's because of that Adermon mod. I didn't quite know what I was doing, and I, I just dented it. I thought I was doing the right thing. Turns out I was not 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 doing the right thing. So, first impressions aside, I've covered beer, sick clouds, vape life juice, infected, orchid, beer. Wow, where do we go from here? Maybe I could do some retro vaping. So was it last week or was it the week before last? I think it was last week that we talked about uh, that HH357 atomizer. Mm -hmm. So these were designed for 901 atomizers and I started using them on 510 atomizers because when you have an ego connection like this that's on the, uh, that's on the iStick, it's, a, it's an aftermarket. <laughs> comes from comes from them, but it's an aftermarket thing. So I have this ego connection on here. Nice threads. And then I have this 510 atomizer on here. And if you over drip in a 510 atomizer, it will leak out these holes and down and onto your mod. Well, uh, the good people, Keith, uh, created this back in the day. This is a drip shield. Okay, this is what we used to have to use to keep our atomizers from leaking because all of us would drip, all of us would over drip all the time, all the time. And all it takes is one drip too many, two, three, four, for that juice to start, uh, to start leaking out the bottom. So there was this ingenious invention. This is a drip shield. There's an O-ring around this side, and there's an O-ring around this side on the inside, and then there's two airflow holes. There's an airflow hole there, and there's an airflow hole there. And what you did was you put this on your atomizer, just like that, and it kept the juice. Oh, no, you see the juice coming out there? Wow, this is a bad sell for these drip shields. For the most part, it kept the juice from leaking down. So if you over dripped a little bit, it wouldn't be the end of the world. It would just kind of pool down here. Oh, I put it on upside down. That's fucking why. Good job, Nick. You put the holes, you put the airflow holes at the top. You put the airflow holes at the top. So when you, uh, when you dripped, the airflow would come in the top, would go in through the 510 connection, and uh, you would not end up getting juice. There'd be an O-ring below your atomizer, and it would keep the juice from getting all over your mod. Now, these were made for 901 atomizers, and if you don't remember what a 901 atomizer is, I can't tell you what they are because I don't have one here. It was basically a lot like a 510, except the airflow didn't come in through the threads. It had its own hole drilled in it. In fact, this mod kind of reminds me of a 901 atomizer. The airflow would come in here. This is what's, this is like a big version. This screwed into your mod, airflow came in through the hole, and your drip tip went here and you vaped it. So the 901 atomizer was the first to have its own airflow. It didn't rely on the threads for an airflow. It had a side airflow. I just got juice in my mouth. One of the things uh, that was kind of the downfall, not downfall, but was one of the negative aspects 
of the drip shield is that the holes, the airflow holes up here, were very, very tiny. Very, very tiny. So whatever you put it on, it really stiffened up the airflow. So what I did and what a lot of people did is you just took a drill and you drilled out those airflow holes on your drip shield. This is before we drilled out airflow holes on our rebuildable atomizers. We drilled out airflow holes on our drip shields, just straight through one big hole right across so that it would increase that airflow. I have uh, very vivid memories of purchasing multiple drip shields at the very first Vape Bash event uh, from Keith and Empire Mods. Um, at any vape meet, uh, I mean, from the last couple years, this goes back to like 2011, Keith always had a line out the door of people just waiting to buy the Empire mod, which I may go dig out my Empire mod and a 901 atomizer for next week. Waiting to buy an Empire mod, waiting to get some drip shields. He did all sorts of different kinds of drip shields. In fact, you can go back to my very first Vape Bash video and I talk about using a long barrel HH357 with a brand new drip shield I got and I believe it was like blue and black vertical stripes on this drip shield and I absolutely loved it. And this is one of those things that I've just kept in my kit for no reason in case I want to vape uh, out of an HH357 atomizer. For me, once upon a time, dripping into an atomizer like this with a drip shield was just one of the most... Uh, was one of the most simple ways to vape. I'm going to put this back on here. This is going to go back into the uh, into the vault for now. Boy, that really, really stiffens up the airflow. Really stiffens up the airflow. So, that was retro vaping. The world of drip shields and Empire Mods. I believe if you go to EmpireMods.com, he may still have drip shields for sale. Grab yourself a 901 atomizer. Make sure you have a mod with a 901 connection. Throw a drip shield on there and see what it was like to vape back in 2011. So, uh, we're moving forward. One last thing I guess we want to do. Uh, why don't we do some viewer mail? Viewer mail. All right. Viewer mail. Viewer mail. It's time for viewer mail. Viewer mail. Viewer mail time. Maybe that could be the new theme song. I have no idea. I have no idea what I'm doing. Um... Uh, yeah, so first one comes from Easton. Uh, Easton uh, writes to me and says, Hey, Grim, I hate to bother you. You're not, you're not bothering me. You're not bothering me. What People always type, I'm sorry to bother you. I'm so sorry for bothering you. It's not. It's a legitimate, you have a question, and you're just emailing me, and that's fine. That's part of my job description. Is, is an unwritten rule is answering emails. If I'm not answering emails and I'm not interacting with people and uh, you know, replying to comments. I mean, that's, I knew what I signed up for. That's, that's part of it. Hey Grim, I really need some help. I have a hundred dollar budget and I want a vape that produces good clouds and great taste while also being able to travel in my pocket. I was thinking about getting an e-leaf eye stick and putting an RDA on top, but I would like your opinion. Thanks for all you do. Keep up the good work. Uh, yes, the eye stick by e-leaf is a great little product. Throw an Aspire Mini, uh, Nautilus on there. You will be good. That That is a great combination. This other thing that I've been alluding to that I haven't done a review for, um, that I may never do a review for, um, I picked this up at RJ Vapes. This is the E-Grip by Joytech. It has an internal battery. It has an internal tank. You change out the coil heads kind of like you would on a pro tank. Um, you can change out the coil heads via this. You adjust the wattage or voltage via this. And uh, let's just put it back to where it was this fits in your pocket this works really 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 good i mean you're certainly not going to win any cloud competitions with it but it will satisfy you it will vape and it's in a very very uh very small package. In fact, for traveling, I really couldn't even think of anything better than this than this e-grip by Joytech right here. Additionally, that e-leaf uh, eye stick with an Aspire Nautilus Mini on there would also be uh, would also be a fantastic, 
Fantastic way to go, Easton. Thank you so much for your email. Uh, Evan writes, uh, nope, I'm not. that's not going to happen, Evan. Hello, sir. I was wondering if you were ever in the Davenport, Indiana area, and if so, would you be willing to meet with a local group we have here called the QC Fog Machines? We're having uh, a meet and a friendly count competition on the 17th of this month at a new vape shop called Kinetic Vapors in Malone, Illinois. Thank you for your time and vape freely. That's right. Vape freely. Uh, thank you so much, I mean, Evan, for the very gracious offer. Um, I don't think I will be able to make it out to Davenport uh, on the 17th of this month. Um, but uh, I hope you do have a good meet. I hope that goes. Uh, I hope that goes really well. I hope it's a lot of fun for you guys. I'm sure it will be. Meets are always really fun. Um, speaking of meets, real quick, I want to throw in there that I am attending the Oregon Vape Festival. Uh, I, in fact, if you're watching this video, chances are it's going on right now. It's uh, January 3rd and 4th up in Eugene, Oregon. I'll be up there all weekend, uh, hanging out in the Grimm's Vape Lounge. <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, I'll be up there and, and hanging out and, and trying mods and trying juices and doing just fun vape meat stuff. God, I love going to to vape meats. It's just it's just a fun time. So if you ever you know want to have uh, want to have a vape meat, throw it together, do it. Uh, last last viewer mail because I recognize most of the rest of these. I think Colin, those are winners for the giveaway. Drip Tips, Product Vendor, Anthony. Uh, yeah, so let's go with Colin. Let's wrap this up with Mr. Colin. I just got into vaping. Hey, Nick. I just got into vaping. Congratulations, Colin. Uh, it's a great thing. I like it when it controls your life. <laughs> First off, I would like to thank you for your reviews and your videos on YouTube. It literally helped me convince me to quit smoking uh, and start vaping. I was curious as if you allow others besides yourself, to wrap their mods in Grim Green wraps? And if so, how much would it cost to do so? Uh, you know what? Absolutely. Uh, you know, I, I sell uh, Grim Green t-shirts and merch and stuff on the neighborjuice.com website. Um, I'm also hoping to have some hats soon. Hopefully, Chelsea hat soon Ugh, get excited um but yeah for the most part i mean even if you want graphics i'll send you some graphics and you can go to a place like j wraps and they can do up a wrap for you for your mod and just use it just do it i'm not gonna i mean what if what the fuck am i what am i gonna charge you like likeness property rights to put a wrap on your mod with with the grim army or something on it absolutely not um Yes, Colin, shoot, feel free to shoot me another email. I can easily get you some graphics. Um, it's, it's, it just, you just have to pay for the wrap from whatever company that you get the wrap from. I just say J wraps because they're kind of the biggest and they kind of do kind of some really cool stuff. Um, so yeah, head over to J wraps, upload some graphics and get yourself a wrap. Just do it. Just, just get on there. Um, thank you so much, Colin, for watching. I think that wraps it up for viewer mail at this point. Um, I'll have links in the description to everything that I talked about, including this wonderful, wonderful uh, Saison beer that Santa Claus brought for me from the Anchorage Brewing Company. But uh, yeah, that's kind of what I got for today. Uh, we're moving into 2015, friends. You know what I mean? I never thought that I would be doing YouTube videos for this long, but I just love it so much. And I just love vaping. Huh so much and uh it's it's what i do it's what i'm going to do and i hope that uh i hope that 2015 is is really fantastic i i know i mean i can't even predict but i know that we're going to see a lot of innovation we're going to see new drippers already things like the marquee which i'm going to have a review for soon fantastic dripper very different from a lot of other things uh the kennedy atomizer very different very cool dripper from a lot of other things and things like the kanger sub tank i am having a bit of a love affair with that kanger sub tank i love using it i think it's fantastic um there's just cool stuff coming up and like i said there's a lot of mech mods coming up there's a lot of rebuildable atomizers coming up um yeah i mean <laughs> Including this thing, which I'm not even going to... What? Seriously. I, this is just a sneak peek at the, the ridiculousness of this mod. Maybe in the next vlog, I'll cover this uh, 
couple of this Orthos. It's it's a little bit janky, but I don't know. It's a thing. It's a thing. One button, two buttons, two atomizers. Silliness. So here's to wishing you a very, very happy, healthy, vapor-filled 2015. From the bottom of my heart, thank you so much for watching, everybody. And as always, oh, shit. I forgot to mention Vapor Slam. Uh, Vapor Slam. I am going to be there. Friggin' Vapor Slam. I'm so pumped about this meat. And I should have mentioned it. Well, why didn't I mention it? Uh, Vapor Slam. Vaporslam.com. I'll post the link in the description. Vapor Slam. It's going to be a rad, 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 rad meet in uh, in uh, in uh, North Carolina, Winston Salem, North Carolina. They got a whole bunch of vendors that are going to be there. It's just going to be a really, really fun, really, really fun meet. And uh, I'm excited to go there. I'm excited to hang out with Freeze and Mooch again. I'm very, very, very excited to hang out with the Plumes of Hazard. Guys, again, I just love them so, so much. This is going to be a fun meet. Um, I think it's going to be fantastic. It's. Uh, I'll just post a link in the description, Vaporslam.com. Um, March... 20th and 21st, Winston-Salem, North Carolina at the Benton Convention Center, 18 and over. Uh, there you go. Please do not bring your children. So Vapor Slam, that's being put on by the TVA show podcast, 80 days away. I couldn't be more excited. I'm really looking forward to this event. Um, yes, so chances are you will see me uh, or meet me or not meet me. Not like it's some great thing. Uh <laughs> Chances are we will run into each other at a vape meet somewhere in 2015. I'm excited about it and uh, Vapor Slam. Vaporslam.com. Now let's keep on vaping.